the previous video, I referred to synchronizing your team. And really, when I think about synchronizing a team, I've, I've even shortened it further to talk about synchronicity. But I, I wanted to expand on that concept based on some recent discussions with a client who asked me, Sean, how do I really synchronize my team? I saw that in an earlier video. I want to understand specifically how I do it. So here are some ideas that I want to share with you relative to work I've done with clients and helping them create synchronicity in their organizations across multiple different teams. First off, Employees really need to connect their priorities, right, their reasons or the why they come to work with the business objectives. So here's what I mean. If you think about your company today, why is it that employees come into work and set aside the fact they need to pay their bills and, and such? Why do they keep showing up every day and not going to another job or another company or another business? Once you understand what that why is and you set aside the exceptions, you've got very powerful information that you can use to connect with the business objectives. For example, if you come to work, the reason why you come to work every day is you want to work or live in this small community where our company is, then it behooves you to help the company be successful so it sustains. Secondly, there needs to be a common view on what needs to be done. Have you ever gone into an organization or even maybe your own business or department and you've asked different people, what are the priorities that we have as a group or as a company here today? And you get different answers. That's a bad thing. We need to make sure that people are clear on what needs to be done because if they're not doing the right things at the right time, focusing on the right priorities, then we're not in synchronized form, right? We're heading off in different directions doing different things. Thirdly, there has to be powerful tools that support how we get things done. I've, I've seen multiple organizations with different software systems, ERP systems, and when you go and talk to employees and you say, hey, how is the system working for you? Many times, more often than not anyways, I get feedback that the system's garbage. It's crap. I have to spend more time inputting data, checking boxes, and it hurts my productivity. So if that's the case, why are you using that system? Who made the decision to incorporate that ERP system into the company? Was it somebody in management who's not connected with what employees are doing on a day-to-day -day basis? Ultimately, the tools you put into place for your employees should be tools that your employees want to use and have been part of the selection process in using. Last but not least, there has to be clear timelines. And again, I've talked about this previously, but people want to know what they're working on and what's coming down the pipeline, because if they do so, they'll create a natural pace for them. So in essence, by having clear timelines, people understand when things need to be done. Now, here's the most important po point I want to mention to you about timelines. Timelines cannot be arbitrary. I worked in an organization early, early in my career, and the scheduling department, the department that planned all the work that happened, had a hard time getting all the different work groups to support them in meeting that plan. So you know what they did? They wrote a procedure that mandated thou shalt attend X number of meetings a week. Worst thing that could be done, because now you're enforcing your rules, that department's rules, and all the other departments, which hurts relationships, and people tend then not to follow the plan at all, just out of spite. So those timelines need to be created in a collaborative form and shown visibly to everybody so everybody knows how they're playing a role in ultimately achieving the goals and the objectives we're trying to achieve. So when you think about your business today, the question I have for you is how are you incorporating these four different ideas to create synchronicity again, in your team or in your business. Because if you can synchronize your team and synchronize your people, you will naturally pick up speed and momentum towards achieving your objectives.